So this question says, which of the following is equivalent to the expression x to the fourth power minus 8x squared plus 16? And we have two options. So realistically, this is going to be a simplify question. I could think to myself, how can I simplify the expression provided and see if what I come up with matches one of these? But I'm going to decide instead to do the reverse of that. I'm going to say, well, can I expand my answers? And through expansion, do I end up with the expression that I started off with? I think that's a bit easier. And in fact, I'm going to start with 2 because that also seems a bit easier to me for some reason. So x squared minus 4 squared. Now, okay, I think I see a connection here. x squared minus 4 is actually the difference of two squares, which can be broken down into x minus 2 times x plus 2. So if I broke that down, I'd still have all that squared. And if that's the case, then it's really just x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 2, right? Because it's just two of them, this times itself. That's what it would mean to square. And then I can group them together and say, well, that's really just x minus 2 squared, right? Because we have this one and this one being multiplied, times x plus 2 squared, because we have this one and this one being multiplied. But isn't that exactly, just clean this up so we can focus on what I want you to focus on here, isn't that exactly what choice one says? Yes, it is. So in essence, one and two say the exact same thing. So there's, it's impossible for the answer to be A because two is the same as one. And it's impossible for the answer to be B because two is the same as one. So either one and two work or neither one nor two actually work. So that's, that's beneficial. Um, and just to throw in another strategy for you guys, I'm going to use this strategy called plug in your own number because I like that strategy and it can be useful here. If I hadn't used this strategy, you would need to actually do the math here, um, which is not impossible, of course, and then see if what you get after doing that math ends up with this. And there'd be no need to do it twice because again, we've already, we've already identified that one and two are the same. But let's throw another strategy in here for you <clears throat> in case you don't like doing all this foiling back and forth. I'm going to use plug in your own number. Now, using plug in your own number, you can set your own number. Right? I typically choose 2, so I'm going to say x equals 2. So if x equals 2, and I'll use a different color here, that means my original expression turns into 2 to the 4th minus 8 times 2 squared plus 16. I grab my calculator. I know that 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 to the second power is 4 times 8 is 32, so it becomes minus 32. And then I have plus 16. 16 plus 16 is 32, so I have 32 minus 32, which is equal to 0. Now, all I need to do is see if by plugging 2 in to this equation, do I get 0? Because if I do, then it's going to be the answer is going to be C. If by plugging 2 into this equation, I don't get 0, then the answer will be D. So let's see what happens. When I put a 2 in here and a 2 in here, I see that over here, 2 minus 2 is in fact 0, and 0 times, even though this is going to be 16, 0 times 16, the answer I get is still 0. So my correct answer here is choice C. Hopefully that makes sense. So I provided kind of a half math, half strategy method. We could have, by the way, gone directly to plug in your own number. That would have worked just as well. Um, but also, hey, some people like to do math first, real traditional math. So the simplify method also helped us to recognize that option one and option two are exactly the same, and therefore A and B cannot possibly be correct. Um, and again, if you really wanted to foil this and really show how great you are at math and spend the time that it takes to do that, by all means, feel free to do so.